SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, we got to do an update video here. Uh, we might have some new information that's going to probably give us the the right concept of what's going on with the whole like Disney bundle price increase and whether Verizon was going to continue to support the, the the get more plan. And I think the other one was what? Um, the, the play do more? What the, the two plans that were impacted by this that have the Disney bundle included. Um, we got emails sent out to people yesterday, which actually didn't come from Verizon. They came from Disney Plus, and, and that's part of what I think happened here and caused the confusion. Anyways, let me give you guys the full update. Let's make sure we get the information right, and then you guys can make the best decisions. Link for the article from Kel Enjoyed Life will be provided in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if you're new here, and turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. All right. The quote here, or the title, I should say. Disney freaks out Verizon customers with included Disney Plus bundle, but all should be okay. All right, that's cool. That's good. All right, so uh, there's a segment of Verizon customers that have these legacy plans. Play more and get more unlimited plans that include the Disney Plus bundle for free that Verizon was was providing as a, a value add a number of years ago. This email came out with this terminology that's pictured here on the screen. Got everybody thinking that Verizon was going to be, you know, was going to discontinue paying for it. And whoever wanted to keep it was going to be paying the new pricing for the Disney bundle price increases going from $18.99 to $21.99. So the value that you get with the play more and the get more unlimited plans is really, really good. In fact, I would argue if they if Verizon took that away, it makes no sense for most people to keep this. Uh, but then there was um, an FAQ from Verizon and and it was identified and it looks like it kind of clears it up a bit, I suppose. If your subscription to Disney Plus Basic, Disney Plus Premium, or the Disney Bundle is included with your plan, your subscription will continue to be included in your plan. That is a huge sigh of relief because there are people who really like this and enjoy this bundle and they've been paying a premium on that uh, get more plan of you know, upwards of 90 or 95 dollars for a single line you know that that's the reason you probably kept it amongst maybe a couple other things you know i know that this plan i think came with apple music and some storage uh you know 600 gigs of, of verizon cloud storage and stuff like that so i don't, I don't want to say we're out of the woods yet but this makes it seem like at this time verizon is going to continue to pay for that and include it in your plan if you have these legacy plans not to say it won't change later not to say you know it, it could still happen we might get a follow-up email from verizon but that was one of the problems the the email that came out that i showed in yesterday's video this one actually came from disney and didn't actually come from verizon and that's what we needed to know if this actually came from verizon then it would have made a whole lot more sense i think it would have been more cut and dry but this actually came from Disney, so a little bit of, you know, I, I, just lack of clarity, right? So hold off. Don't make any changes to your accounts. Don't make any changes to your lines or anything. Um, I did talk to a friend who ended up getting rid of his Get More plan. He just wanted to save money anyways. Although he liked his Get More plan, uh, he was paying over $90 for his line, and he moved to Visible Plus. He's now paying $34 a month. Right. So he, he I think he's pretty happy about that because that's like the whole economics of it. Right. With price increases to all these value adds to it being a legacy plan, Verizon getting rid of, you know, partial amounts of auto pay discounts. They're, they're trying to find ways to squeeze more out of the customer. So when things do change, you definitely want to start exploring your options. I'm not saying and I'm not telling you to make changes. I'm saying be open to it. And just like I said in yesterday's video, Find ways. If if pricing is the most important component, right? Not value. If it's pricing that's the most important component, there are ways to pay Verizon less. You know, the, the US mobile MVNO, uh, cable MVNO, total wireless visible by Verizon. Those are still options if you feel like you would rather pay less, even though you get more, literally, <laughs> you would be paying less and you could save money. So it's it's still i think always valid to assess what you need what you want and what you want to pay for 
so we'll hold off on things we'll wait till we get some clarity from verizon and uh if it requires an additional video we'll do that for you guys but go ahead and put it on the shelf for now it looks like everything is going to stay the same and no changes at verizon with get more and the disney bundle but tell me what you guys think about all this really think verizon should have sent something out and made it an official email from them and not disney kind of create the confusion anyways sound off in the comment section below you're the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard